Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites and fails. So at the end of every month slash beginning of the next month, I come back and I go over all the products that I either filmed with or tried off camera or both and give you thoughts now that I've had them for a little bit longer. Um, this is the one for October um, and it should be relatively short. I didn't try that many things, um, especially since I just had a very long end of summer version of this only a few weeks ago. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite soft spot for indie makeup and high-end makeup, which you will see both of here today. And I tend, to take a, I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to the content I make, be it like reviews of new products or things that I already own and love. I just really try to make thorough, thoughtful, analytical content. Um, and I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So there should be videos on my channel for everything uh, that's that I'm gonna talk about here. So I'll have everything linked below and above and all of that stuff. Um, and then if you're curious about my makeup, it'll be in the description box like always. I just filmed my very long, very thorough review of all the products I got from Surratt. And that'll be going up in a couple weeks, uh, but pre-filmed it. This is the look, spoiler alert. Um, except for the lip. The lip is something else that you will see in a few minutes. Okay, so there aren't really any outright fails in this, um, which I am thankful for. I actually don't like fails because most of the stuff I spit, pet, bought my, with my own money and I don't want to have wasted my money. Um, the, the one thing that is kind of a fail is something from my video from a couple days ago um, and it is the Guide Beauty Mascara. So that video should be going up before this. I think that'll go up Thursday, this is Saturday. But I did film that ahead of time and I had been using things. So uh, the, the magic of pre-filming. Um, that is the one kind of fail is the Guide Beauty Mascara. So it is not a fail all outright. Like it's not a bad product. It's just not not for me product. So I will link that video up above um, because I also have a discount code with Guide Beauty that is good for one week. So from that Thursday, this last Thursday to next Thursday, I believe, um, if you are interested in trying any of the stuff that I talk about. But I really wanted to try the brand um, because they have this like special handle for all of their products that's supposed to make everything more accessible. So if you can't pinch grip, which if you don't know what that means, it means like grabbing something with by pinching, which is a very human thing. Only really humans can do that. Um, if you want more about that, I can always talk about that in a different video, but um, we have big tips to our fingers. So we can pinch things. So like using a brush, like pin pinching, I mean, this is a highlighter brush, but you know what I mean. Um, not everyone can grab things like that. I know my, even my husband has a hard time grasping products like that. Like he has a hard time with chopsticks now because he has neuropathy and some other issues. I sometimes have some issues thanks to my fibromyalgia. So I wanted to re I wanted to try some of their products. I reached out and asked if I could and they sent me a whole bunch of things. Now this, I really like the handle. The handle is not a fail. The handle is actually great. So you can use it, I mean, I kept accidentally using it like here, but I think you're meant to use it between your first two fingers, but you just grip like this. There's a flat pad here. So the like the, the design of this is 10 out of 10, great. Really intuitive, really works well. This is the mascara and this is just not a for me mascara. So I like, I have really thick lashes. I'm wearing the Surratt lash tint right now. I like my lashes to be lifted, separated, a little bit of length, mostly length and then a little bit of volume. This is a very thick volumizing tubing mascara and it's just not for me, it's too thick. So it made my lashes clump. I've tried it a handful of times um, and I just don't like the formula. Um, you can see how thick it is there, like I have to really scrape off excess and it still is a little too clumpy for me. So I do know a lot of people who like this kind of formula. It reminds me of like the L'Oreal telescopic or the L'Oreal, like one of the ones that was like viral 
I don't know, women lost a year. I don't know, time means nothing. Um, but it, I hated that. I also really hated the Rare Beauty Mascara because it made my lashes clump. And I don't like clumpy, spidery lashes. I know a lot of people do. Or they want really, they need volume because they have thinner eyelashes. So they really want volume. And I think for those people, this is a great option, especially if you need or that would be helpful to have this mobility aid. But for me, I don't need a volumizing mascara and I don't like them. So this is a formula fail packaging favorite. Okay, and then just to stick with Guide Beauty stuff, the rest of their products are definitely not a fail. So like the, the, the main thing they're known for, which is their eyeliner uh, tool, um, this is great. So this is the cap, take it off. So it's got a spot here for your thumb and then you're supposed to just draw on your eyeliner. I've tried this with both their black eyeliner. In that video, you'll see I struggled with my wing, but that's a me thing again. I've also tried it with some melt eyeliners and worked well with both formulas. Um, and it just works really well to draw. Like if you are someone that struggles with your eyeliner, especially like drawing like a wing and having like, you know, especially if you need that, if you have a hard time, like, you know, holding your, the, the eyeliner and like drawing like this, this is a really great tool to help with that. And I highly recommend it for anybody that might have a mobility uh, issue or just issues with their eyeliner. Like, let's say you just struggle with it a lot. I think it's worth looking into this. Um, like I said, I do have a discount code with them. I'll have it in the description box. Um, and then, let's see, this is the, this is their Lash Moment. Um, so this is their Lash uh, Pomade, Lash Gel, not Lash, Brow, Brow Gel. Wow, I can talk. Um, it's really nice. I think I like a smaller spoolie like this. I think it works well. Um, it only has three shades and my critique for them in that video was again, that it's hard to tell what shade you might need because it's light, medium, dark, and there aren't like, photos showing the color. It's just like a photo with all three wands sticking up. Um, I like the formula. It wasn't too crunchy. It held my lash, my brows nicely. It looked really nice. It's really easy to, you know, use this and go do 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 do. Um, the dark shade is a about on par with my hair color. Like it's this, you know, but it's a little too cool tone for me. Um, but the medium is a little bit lighter and a little warmer, so like it works. I think that's a really nice product. Um, their eyeshadow palette is really cute. Um, it's not a favorite or a fail. I'm just neutral on it. It's it's a neutral basic eyeshadow palette, but it's pretty. So I can't get it out of the box. Um, I'm really bad at opening things. Um, okay, so I got it open. Very cute, really like the packaging. I think it looks and feels really nice. It looks like high quality. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. And the formulas were really nice. I used, I've used all, I've used um, the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, and the shade. I've not used the purpley mauve tone. Really pretty kind of everyday kind of eyeshadow formula. It's not overly sparkly. Um, but it's not like a full satin for the metallics. Like this one's a little more satin than the others. My one complaint about this is there's only this one brown. So it's a good transition tone for people like lighter than me through a little darker than me. But you can't really get depth from this and you can't, uh, it's not inclusive to like darker skin tones that would need a darker transition shade. So that's my one complaint there, but the quality was nice. So like if the color story, if it's something you like and you're buying other stuff from the brand, I think it's worth looking at. And then the last thing from the brand is their brushes. And these are an absolute win for me. So they have that special design. Um, they're soft. They're not gonna replace my Sony GN Refer brushes, but they are really nice. And I think that they're soft, they work well. And I think I'm gonna, I have people in my life that I think would benefit from this handle design that I'm gonna give these, I'm gonna clean them and give them to, because I think it's a really, really innovative design. 
And for anybody who has a hard time holding a makeup brush, like here is one of my rougher brushes. Like I hold it like this, you know, blend. But if you're having a hard time, you know, pinching and holding like this, this is really great and works really well. So highly recommend checking out that video and checking out the brand um, if you're in the if you feel like you might benefit from those tools. Okay, so then uh, the next thing is the collection, the travel collection. This is the last collection from Nomad for the year. So this is the Nomad Air collection. I did get this in PR from them and I do have a non-affiliated code with them. So I don't earn commission, it's just to save you money. It's just bones. This is the Nomad Air collection. So this is adorable. It's a skincare slash travel eyeshadow palette collection. So this is the eyeshadow palette, if I can get it open. Um, it's little, it's a little six pan. It's some, it's their standard matte formula and then their newer, like really beautiful creamy shimmers. Neutral, light through dark. Um, you've got multiple options here. So you've got like a bright inner corner or a lid shade if you're more fair. You've got a smoky shade and then you've got kind of a universally pretty copper tone. I think a lot of people can use this. I think for being a six pan palette, it's really, travel friendly and universally flattering because it's neutrals and it goes light to dark for both the shimmers and the mattes. I think they did a great job with this. I will definitely be keeping this as my, my go-to travel palette along with the Ciroc quad that I'm wearing today. Um, it's just really great. Uh, really like this. So you can buy all the individual pieces from this collection uh, or you can buy the bundle. So when you buy the bundle though, which codes work on the bundle too, I think it's like $70 and then you save 10%. But the bundle comes with this bag and I really like this bag. This is gonna be maybe my new go-to travel bag because it's the right size. I'm a big person, I'm six foot two. Um, if that puts anything in perspective, also like the jumbo bronzer from Sony G I just got this recently and I'm not including it because I've only used it like four times, but um, I see a lot of people use this and it looked huge on their faces. And for me, to show put me in perspective, it, it like fits perfectly right here. Like it's not, it's not that big. <laughs> um, really like this. You've got a big zipper pouch here, a small zipper pouch here, and then places for your brushes, these little things here. And it's just so cute. Like, look at these, look at these little um, airplane tags. I think they did a really great job. Um, the other parts of this collection are skincare, which Nomad had never sold before. So we've got a face mist, a moisturizer, and a lip balm. And I've been using these consistently. This is really hydrating. I've used it in the morning a lot when I wake up and I'm feeling a little dry. Um, I think it'll be nice as we're moving into the colder, more dry, well, for Seattle, the wet months. But like, if you're in a, a drier climate, this would be really nice. It's just hydrating, like rosemary water and some other skincare. It's not a setting spray, it's just a facial, facial mist, but it's really nice. Uh, and then there's the lip salve, which if you watch that video, I did have a moment about this. It's really pretty. My husband and I have been using this every day, for weeks now and barely made a dent. You get a lot of product in this and it it does have a light rose smell from the rosehip oil in it, but it's really nice and it works really well. It's a lot of things that come in like this kind of component are a little too greasy for me. This is not. Um, it's dense enough and thick enough that it doesn't feel like slimy like a lot of i find a lot of things like carmex and stuff I, I can't use i really like this um and the scent now reminds me of my mom which is uh a separate thing um and then the last thing is the face cream i've been using this a lot you get 100 milliliters which is huge it's 3.4 fluid ounces but it's like twice the size of most things like this we've made a pretty big dent in it already We've been using it a lot. It's really nice. I haven't broken out. I mean, I have it here, but that's, that's that's separate. The rest of my face hasn't broken out. Um, it's got nice skincare in it. It's hydrating without feeling greasy. I think 
if you have oily to dry skin, I think it's kind of universally nice. Um, it's a little bit more of a gel than like a lotion, which is what I prefer. So highly recommend checking those out if you're in the market for them, not, not to buy stuff just to buy. I will never tell you to buy something just to buy it. Okay, so something that I bought is uh, the new House Labs eyeshadow palette. So I had a video about these go up probably a week ago now. And from where you're seeing this, probably two weeks. Really, really like these. So they are very fingerprint prone, but they feel hefty and luxe. Um, one of them has a scratch on it. Oh, it's this one. No, wait, that was a hair. I don't know, one of them I think might have a little scratch on it. Um, just, oh yeah, it's like right there, it's tiny. And I think it's just from things rubbing up against each other, but overall, my my highlighter and blush and stuff haven't um, scratched, so. And it feels like the same material. Um, so this is their Super Neutrals Holiday Eye Library. It's the Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette Super Neutrals Volume 1 and 2. Um, really like this. So this is Volume 1, which is the more warm-toned. Um, I think the lighter matte is, on both palettes is a little more powdery than the other two. And I think it's just because it has more white pigment in it because it's lighter. But these feel like a cream shadow. They feel like Lisa Aldridge's matte shadows. If you've tried those, they're really beautiful. These shimmers are so pretty. Just cannot recommend this enough. It is, they are $49 a piece, which is hefty. But I mean, I did use a gift card to buy these, so I didn't use my own money, but I don't think I would regret it if I had. So I really like them. And then this is volume two, it's more cool toned. Um, my one complaint is I wish the darker shade in each went a little darker. Um, like they're not, like they're not, they add depth to my eye look and they do make it a little smoky. And I've seen darker skin tones use them and they looked nice there, but they're not like as dark as they could be to be a little more inclusive shade wise. And then this olive shimmer, I would say, is more of a stage, not olive, but that's the olive glitter. But that's really the only complaint there. This is like a Pat McGrath shimmer. This is a little more metallic and probably the prettiest rose gold I've ever used. I love these. Highly, highly recommend. Um, another thing of PR that I got is this. Um, this is the lipstick that I'm wearing. Um, and I didn't get it from YSL, I got it from Influencer. So my requirement was I did a review in the Influencer app for it, which I already did. And this is one of the new YSL lipsticks. So this is the YSL Rouge Per Couture lipstick. Um, this is the shade, I think, OM. I'm not sure. It's kind of a red, or like an orange red really beautiful. So this is a cream lipstick. Um, it feels really nice on the lips. It lasts very well. It's really lovely. It feels luxe on the lips, which you would hope for being like a 30 something dollar lipstick. I want more shades. So they sent me one and now I want more and they're going to get some of my money. Um, I did just buy one of the YSL candy glaze, which will be here in a few days. So excited for that, um, but really, really love this lipstick. Um, I've worn it quite a bit, uh, and it's it's just great. And then I had my best friend try it, and she loved it as well, and now wants one. So, uh, it, it's just really nice. Okay, so I've got two things, one that I bought and one that I got in PR left. The first is one that I got in PR, and it is the Haunted Palette for, from Gourmand Girls. I do have a video trying this out. They sent this to me like in September, but I had COVID when it arrived, so I didn't use it. Um, but I finally got around to using it. I filmed a video and I've used it a couple times since, and I really like it. I did pre-film that video, so it went up, I think, last week, my time, um, but it had been filmed weeks in advance. So I've used it. I've used most of the shades here. I think it's a really nice color story. It's consistent with their other palettes. It's really pretty. Um, I think I like it better than last year's Spook palette and that was a really big palette for them. So really like this. 
I just think it's really beautiful. And if you're interested in seeing swatches and comparisons, I do all of that in my video on this. So I'll have that uh, linked. And then the last thing is something I bought and is was expensive and a part two will be coming soon. And that is the Melt Cosmetics Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So this is the Halloween Town collection. I did buy this and I drew a video up with it and I've been using it a lot off camera. And then they just announced the Christmas Town collection and I immediately bought it. That is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Today is Sunday the 29th. Um, and this is gonna go up next Saturday. So that will be up, uh, that video, the palette is supposed to be delivered tomorrow and I wanna film with it ASAP. So I'm hoping that video will be up like Wednesday this week. So that video will already be live. Um, but really like it. So there's this bag. Uh, it's much bigger than the Nomad bag. This is the biggest makeup bag that I own now. Um, I did, since I bought the whole other collection, it comes with a second bag, which has the dog. Why am I blanking on the name? Ghost? I don't, but, but like it has the dog in the front. I think it's even cuter than this one. Um, and then it has Melt as one tag and Jack and Sally on this one. And it, this feels really nice. It's got a lot of room. So the Nomad's more like, I'm taking a few things traveling. This is like a bigger thing. So you've got a big zipper pouch here with some extra space there. And then you've got this one unzipped here. I've got my mirror right here. Um, I'm just keeping it in here since I have a few mirrors. And then you've got a big pouch. Uh, I think the inside of the other one is slightly different, so I will you know for sure when it arrives. But really like this. I think this retails by itself if they restock it for like $35, $40. I think it feels worth it. Um, this is the Halloween Town palette. This is $60, and then I'll have the Christmas Town one. People were like, why is Jack Skellington not on this palette? Why is it Oogie Boogie? And now we know because Jack is on the other one. Um, I think these are really well done. I really like this collection. My favorite shades in here are these warmer purples. I think they worked beautifully. This blue is nice, but it is a topper. So if you don't like toppers, watch out. The blues in here worked well. Um, and the these are kind of like standard melt shimmers, which are I don't mind, but I know some people don't like. But this one, I'm really intrigued. <laughs> You'll know what I think if you've already seen it, but I haven't filmed it yet because it's not here yet. But I'm curious to see if any of the shimmers in the new palette are the same formula as this Warm's Worked shade. It's the creamiest, shiniest, prettiest shimmer I've gotten from Melt ever. And I want them to use that in all of their shimmers from now on. Love it. And I think if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, you probably already got this or were waiting for a sale, but I really like it. And it should be at Sephora now too. Um, the rest of the collection I also have is the lipsticks, the highlighter, and the eyeliners. So the lipsticks are great. Pumpkin King, I think is still out of stock. I don't know if it will be restocked. Love it has kind of a sweet smell. People really complained about the ultra matte lipstick from them, so I was really paranoid, and it doesn't go on the easiest. Like, this just kind of glides on. This being a matte, I had to kind of like warm it up and kind of like rub a few times. There was a little bit of drag, but once it went on, it was creamy, it was comfortable, lasted for hours, and it never felt dry. So like, I was fine with this. And then this is the shade Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I've worn this once. It's kind of a dark vampire color. There's a purple in the new one, so I'm intrigued to see what that's gonna be like. Um, I uh, And then there's a green, and I don't think I'll really ever wear the green, but we'll try it. Um, and then this is the True Love Never Dies Digital Dust Highlighter. This retails for $42, which I think in the bundle for like 170 of everything, it was worth it. I don't know if I'd pay $42 for it by itself, but it is really beautiful especially if you're my skin tone or around me, it's got a gold base, like a peachy gold base with a pink flip. So it blends into my skin really nicely. It's kind of beautiful embossing and it's a big highlighter. Like you get 7.5 grams. So it's not one that I'm gonna like 
plow through, but it is really pretty and I have used it quite a few times. I really like it. And then the last two things that I have are um, from this collection are the eyeliners. So there's the Terrible Vision eyeliner and it's a matte orange. And then there's the uh, Master of Fright, which is like a metallic coppery one. Um, I've made, I've used it a couple times and somehow only really used the, the point that was there. It's the same formula as all of their other eyeliners. They're creamy. They last really well. They make a good just eyeshadow. Like you use it as a cream eyeshadow. I really love the Melt eyeliner formula. I have seven other ones. So I have nine of them. So really love them. Always recommend. Um, and yeah, that's everything. So a couple things that I'm still forming my opinion on so that I did just get are the, ref the special edition refer brush. I used this again today. Super soft. So I haven't had this long enough to like give you a super informed opinion, but I would say it's good quality. Like other refer brushes, it feels nice. The package, the, you know, the handle's really beautiful. It came in a really nice um, box. I should have a video, a refer video up already this week um, and I'll talk about it and then, but I really, it's probably the softest brush I've ever used. I love this. And then I did just get the Sonia G bronzer brush, the jumbo bronzer. Uh, really, again, really soft, really like it. Um, it just does a quick job at making like an, a natural effortless bronze. Um, if you want more of a sculpt, I use something like, oh, you know, smaller, but it's great. And then I've been using them now for a few weeks and I, where is it? I, this is not my final thoughts on these, but I really like the Lisa Aldridge brushes. So I bought one eyeshadow brush and one, the and the foundation brush. I used this today in the Surratt video. It's so good. It works with, I used it for concealer too. It works for concealer, foundation. It's great. It does, it's not as fast as like using something like this. Like you can see it's much smaller. So this is a lot faster to put on. Um, even the House Labs brush, much faster. This is a really dense, like it's like a giant fingertip. Um, definitely not as fast as those, but it just blends it. If you like doing your stuff as like light layers, like I do, really, really love this. It is 60 something dollars, but I love it. But also like this was 85. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, uh, and then this is dirty because I just used it in this look, but this is the number eight eyeshadow brush and I really want another one of these. And then the number nine, which is fluffier. This is so soft. It's maybe the softest eye brush I have and it just works so well. I hate that it's a $60 eyeshadow brush because I love it so much, um, but I've used it with not every formula I have, so I need to use it with Pat McGrath, I need to use it with a few other things to get some more thoughts. But preliminary favorites and fails feedback is it's great and I don't regret buying it at all. <laughs> okay, so that's everything. Um, let me know what you think. Oh, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Have you picked up any of these? Have you tried them? What do you think of the products? I love to hear your feedback and talk to you about things in the comments. That's part of why I have this channel. So let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, it really helps. And I'll see you in my next video.